Hi everybody, uh, I found a really nice tune for you to um, learn to play today. It's an old favourite from the 60s and it was made famous by um, a group that backed Billy J. Kramer, the Dakotas. And they had a, a really good song uh, out at that time called The Cruel Sea. Um, quite a lot of people have done it on YouTube, but I just wanted to sort of... Um, put this video together to show you uh, if, if you like it when you want to play it um, hopefully by the time you work your way through this 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 video um, you'll be able to play it um, to some um, degree of uh, proficiency um, so basically what I'm going to do first is I'm going to play you the, um, the backing track let the backing track run so that you've got something to to try and play play against when you're learning this tune, um, but if you if you're really serious about learning it, um, get your own backing track, which will probably be a better quality than the one that I'm going to put up. But it, this is the one I'm going to put up. Will give you an opportunity to make a start anyway. So let's listen to the backing track, and then we'll get on and show you how we went around getting recording it. probably the best reproduction backing track in the world but it'll give you a chance to make a start until you get the proper the decent one that you'll be able to get on online I'm sure um, so let's go on now to show you how we went about playing it right so that's uh, um, I think it's a workable workable backing track not the, not the greatest recording but um, I'm sure it'll get you started if you really get serious in this, into this tune you should be able to pick up the the proper um backing track off the internet from somewhere i'm not sure where i where i got it from now 
but it, it probably is available because it is such a popular tune. Now the thing is, this this tune has been recorded by quite a, a few artists. I mean, the Ventures mainly have sort of uh, uh, grabbed it and, and made it um, recorded it several times over the years. And uh, although I've I've slowed it down for this video, um, I have found uh, people have recorded it actually at this speed. Um, I think there's a, there's also a Japanese guy who's recorded it even slower. But it doesn't matter. I mean, the thing is, it's more if it's more comfortable, play it at your own speed, which you're comfortable playing at, because it's a good tune and it'll it will stand it will stand up for whatever, however you play it. But for this video, I'm trying to slow it down uh, so that you can see where I'm playing the bits and pieces of the tune. And uh, at the end of the day, um, if if you really want to get stuck into it, then you should be able to get all the bits and pieces off of this video to do so so let's carry on with that <coughs> okay the first opening riff now I've um, had a word with a, a, a couple of people about this and it's a riff that you can play um, in various places on on the guitar but um, as it's uh, a sort of an, e an A minor based uh, tune I'm going to start with um, an octave run or an octave and uh, uh, an ascending r octave run starting with your um, a note on that sit on that first string a note at the fifth fret and then bring your third finger over to the seventh fret on the fifth string and those notes are a and E and then what you're going to do then you're going to ascend them right the way up to C to the C sharp um, which is at the uh, ninth fret so it's going to sound like this Okay, so I'll just do that slowly. It's the two notes. The two notes play together. I'm playing the first, the first string with my first finger, and the uh, the the bass string with the pick. Um, so I'm so just slowly doing it slowly. It's, it's this. <laughs> Okay, so that's the opening. That's the opening part. So, <coughs> the opening, the opening sequence. Um, you're you're going to play the octaves. You're going to do it. Ex this is this is exactly how it starts. <laughs> end on the B flat uh, that's the, the the same octave or run down but you come down instead of going to the fifth fret to finish you finish it on this on the sixth fret of the first string and that leads you into the main tune that starts on the A note there and that is the the second string at the tenth fret Finishing on that A note there, you, you get up to the, the 13th fret, which is the F on the first string, and then down to the E to finish that, that sequence. And you repeat that again.
Okay, hope that's clear for you. Okay, so we've played the first part twice, um, and now we're coming on to this this uh, the next section, which uh, starts with the G note on the second string at the uh, eighth fret G. And you're going to sort of do an up and up and a down uh, pick with your with your, your your right hand, something like this. Up to speed, I suppose it'd be something like. Which is too fast, really. So it's nice, and comfortable to play it, to play it um, uh, at that's at the speed that we're doing it at, actually. And you and you you get a chance to to make all the notes ring out nicely as well. Um, so anyway, up and down, up and down, uh, pick on the on that G string. You can uh, pick that up all right on the video. Go on to the next section. Okay, so that's the first the first part, and that that constitutes, I think, what well, you you'd say is that's a C a C chord there. So you're just kind of like playing the notes on a C chord, really. And then it goes down to the A minor which is at the 5th fret and that starts on the on the E note there which is the 2nd string 5th uh, fret which is in A minor you do that twice so um, basically if we're going if we go and say from the from the very from the top right from the very top So that's as far as we've got up to now, and <coughs> we'll carry on to do the next section. So continuing on down, we've just played the A minor. Now we're going to play a G. We're going to be at a G uh, chord now, uh, which is, uh, a d we're descending down, and we, we're descending down, so we're now on the G, so we're going to do this now, the D, D, the D note there of the second string, third fret, down to the F, down and resolving on that E <coughs> so that 
just do that G and that F again. You start at the D note. E note. E note there. I'm just on that E note I'm just playing the notes up all the way up to the to the first string put a bit of whammy in there if you want to and that finishes that main sequence of the tune so just just recapping down here again And that is that whole section. So it might take a bit of getting off, getting off, uh, used to that. The the A minor is a particularly difficult one to do uh, because you're cha you're you're going out of the the the, uh, the comfort zone of your normal C, G, F. You're having to fit that A minor in, so that might cause you um, a hold you up a little a little while. But keep persevering, persevering with it and I'm sure you'll get it. Now I checked through that last video clip and that G and the F didn't come out too well on the camera so I just want to run through that again. Uh, you've, done, you've done the A minor and then you're down onto the, onto the D note so it's this. to speed a bit more like so I hope that's a bit better for you right now this next section starts to get a bit tricky and the best the best tip I can give you for this is that when you start when you come out of the E, the E chord, you're going to start the main the main um, tune again, but what you need to be doing is you need to be starting the first note, which you start with that little finger. Do it once again for you, quite as slowly as I can. Not, it's not harder to do it slow but anyway you, you'll get the, you'll get the idea but you've got to get up to this speed okay so that may take a bit of getting used to but uh, you should be able to get it if you keep practicing it over and over and over is the that a with your little finger you've got to start it with that little finger um, in order to get the next section of notes in so it's sort of like this if you don't start with your little finger you'll have trouble getting those that um, arpeggiated section there in in time with the with the music uh, it will leave you behind so start with that that A note with your small finger your pinky or whatever you want to call it and then it's the and then just do this the same uh, start again and then you're going to sort of um, do this arpeggio quickly rake it if you like
it is rather quick um, but you should be able to manage it with the backing track that I've, that, I'm, that I've put on the on the video at the beginning but but that is the secret to, is to start with that little finger do it once again for you quite as slowly as I can Not, it's not harder to do it slow but anyway you, you'll get the, you'll get the idea but you've got to get up to this speed okay so that may take a bit of getting used to but uh, you should be able to get it if you keep practicing it over and over and over okay so I'm going to go over that last bit again and um, then I'm going to sort of take it almost up to the end um, because basically we will have learnt all there is in the tune there uh, up to now so I'll just go that through that again so we're starting on that on that 10th fret um, A, A note 2nd string And then it's the, the, the start again. And that is uh, the cruel C. Uh, just to recap uh, again. Um, on the 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 down here last bit again and um, then I'm going to sort of take it almost up to the end um, because basically we will have learnt all there is in the tune there uh, up to now so I'll just go that through that again so we're starting on that on that 10th fret um, A, A note 2nd string And then it's the, the, the start again. And that is 